What's up guys, this is Chris, I'm here with Eric. Now we're here to talk about what could be the series finale of Hannibal. Yeah. But it's definitely the season finale and oh what a finale it was. Yeah, yeah, so full spoilers and big ones. <laughs> if you haven't seen, stop watching, come back. Uh, yeah, I thought this was a great episode that also, you know, cause going in a big fear was, okay, it's probably not coming back. It's canceled by NBC, no one's saving it right now. So there was that fear of, oh my God, how much will be left unanswered, yeah. you know? Are they gonna leave all these loose ends? No. No, no. <laughs> they did and not. Because the first two seasons did have finales that could function in a way as series finales, right? right? But they were both of the Hannibal Wins variety. It was like the first one's like, oh, I, I, I managed to get Will framed. And the second season was, I killed everyone right. if they didn't come back. But this one, even more, was like, this is the end of this story. Yeah. This is the culmination of this, this entire journey. Even when Hannibal seems to lose, Hannibal wins. Yeah. That's how inside everybody's head he was. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's always it's, manipulation and you know, how much is he working people. But what I really liked about the ending, the, you know, the very, very ending here is, you know, because the show really was about Hannibal, it's called Hannibal, but it's really about Hannibal and Will and their relationship. And I really liked that, you know, both the fact that, because there was an earlier scene when Bedelia basically says the like, you know, I can't live with him, I can't live without him thing to Will. And Will had, you know, was so drawn to Hannibal and there was a part of him that did want to just like go away with Hannibal. But he's also, I think, supposed to be a good guy at his core. Right. So it's like, Will's the one who pulls them off the cliff. Like, it's yeah. like, Will's the one, because he knows that Hannibal will kill again. You know, yeah. no matter, Hannibal in the episode was like telling Alana, I'm gonna kill you and your family, basically. Yeah, I, I just don't see the day to day of that couple working <laughs> no, out. You no. know? It's like, oh, well, we're gonna have a dinner here. <laughs> right. And we'd go out and murder some folks. You know? Right. Like, I don't, I just don't see it happening. It was really, um, I thought the dynamic between those two right before the end was very interesting. Yeah. It was like, definitely, definitely played as a love relationship yeah. um, and had been building that way. It was, mm -hmm. it's a romance for the ages, but it's a really, really messed up sort of right. uh, romance. And you know, Hannibal, I, th I thought it was really interesting all the people who have fallen under his spell, mm -hmm. you know, romantically, and uh, they kind of trotted each person out and said, this is what you did to him or her, or, yeah. you know? And it was kind of nice. I, I really, really felt final to me. Like even, even the final shot was like, that is the perfect, it's a perfect glaze on this ham. It really is, and you know, like what you were saying about how showing sort of the effect of Hannibal on these people, they even made sure that he name drops uh, both Abigail and Miriam yeah. when they arrive at the house. I felt that also was like, we wanna sort of acknowledge like everything that's happened in this show up yeah. till now. And I, you know, I wanna say like, I really liked the Red Dragon storyline. Yeah. Like the first half of the season kind of dragged for me a little mm -hmm. bit because like, I think it got a little artsy in the, especially the first three episodes. But then as they started building through the season, I thought the Red Dragon stuff was really successful. And it really showed like, it was a nice different dynamic for Hannibal, like kind of pulling strings from afar. Yeah. And, uh, and it was nice to see Will kind of playing into that and being manipulative uh, in and of, or like on his own. You know who like really got played the whole time is Jack Crawford. That guy trusted everybody all the time. He's like, yeah, okay, that sounds great. Let's move that guy. Let's 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 yeah. dangle him as bait. You know. I mean, although it's interesting because I mean, Will, you know, did want that plan. I mean, like there was that great moment where uh, after. Uh, uh, Dollar Hyde shoots Hannibal. Will like takes a drink and is just like watching this all happen. Like yeah. I think he he originally did intend for that plan to be the plan, but he still wasn't telling Jack. Oh, I actually met with Dollar Hyde already. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like he was never giving the full story. I feel like Jack suspected it, but I mean, I mean there's a lot of layers obviously right. in all those scenes. But I, th I feel like Jack suspected it, but he still was like in the end like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll trust this guy. This has never gotten us into trouble before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll trust Hannibal. That's never gotten us into trouble before. Uh, I like the first half of the season more than you, but I know you're not alone on like, especially those first three episodes, I think, for yeah. a lot of people kind of went a little too far in the esoteric realm. But yeah, the, I think the Red Dragon story was great, super focused, I thought Richard Armitage was great, and yeah. that that final sort of three-way fight between them. I yeah. Mean, there was a shot where it's just like a still shot of all three of them, they're kind of clutched over, they're all bleeding, bruised, and it's a great, great moment. And you know, it, you know it was, it, it's not typical for a show like this to have really good action, but I thought the action was filmed really yeah. really well as well. And also one of the most violent sequences I think I've ever seen on TV, um, 
that and the, the face biting from the last episode. It was really, this series got away with so much on network TV. Unbelievable. I mean, again, when you think back, I mean, we all said it, we, you know, including us in the room, oh, how NBC, that only, how can they ever do that? They can't <laughs> show anything. And then it's like, oh, this is the glorious show that's ever been on television, <laughs> probably. Um, good I, job, Ryan Fuller. Good Thank job, you. Ryan Fuller. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, going back to Will and uh, Hannibal, though, I mean, it's, it, it's a great relationship. And it's interesting because they got way more explicit because it was always there, the idea that this was pretty much a romance but they got pretty explicit in the last two episodes when Bedelia says to Will in this penultimate one, you know, Hannibal's in love with you, you know. Uh, and I think, again, you know, we were talking before we started shooting about it. It's felt more and more like Fuller knew this probably would be it, yeah. you know, and don't leave anything on the table. No Hannibal pun intended. Uh, <laughs> and so it's like, uh, why not sort of, you know, be sort of straightforward with what was happening there? And I think it also speaks to, you know, when you when Hannibal began, we were all like, oh, how's this gonna work? Like, they're they're working together. Is Will gonna just be naive for years and years? Like, yeah. guys? But it wasn't that at all. And it, it, when this show began, if you'd said to someone, it's gonna be Red Dragon, except Will and Hannibal fall in love, people would've been like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but three years later, we're like, no, this is amazing. <laughs> you know, like they totally, Sign me up. Right, right, this is, a, my wife said it's her Favorite TV romance. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I, I it, it was an interesting one. It was doomed to fail. Yes, these, these yes. are definitely star-crossed lovers. I love the end was a true cliffhanger because if yeah. you have water and you have a cliff and right. two people fall off of it, you know, there's always room for more. So if it were to get picked up by, a, you know, yeah. cable or Netflix or Amazon mm -hmm. or something like that, which I think they've all passed on it at this point. And it sounds, if anything, it would be years. Like it would be like Sherlock where maybe in a couple years and that's an if, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we don't think we're gonna see more Hannibal, but if we don't, this was like a very fitting end to the series, I think. I think so too. Like that was, a, you know, again, that was my nervousness going in. But yeah, it felt like an ending that if it doesn't come back, I won't be like, you know, it won't be Twin Peaks or one of those shows where you're like, right. what? But, like, you know, you know, there's. But just, give me more. Yeah, like, no, I really felt closure, and I felt it was like a very like beautiful in that weird Hannibal way ending. Yeah. You know, after so much gore and horror, yeah. and they have this moment of these two guys on this cliff together, and it was really well done. I mean, the only I think biggest question people would have is exactly what happened with Bedelia. Yeah. Although I am of the mind that she did it to herself, you know, mm. and, and again, we can, I, why would she do that to herself? Well, Hannibal, she, he's done a job on her, you know? Right, <laughs> well, and then there's, but there's also, the, I think the room for speculation in that is that the table's set for two. Now she could have done that or, yeah. you know, I guess it's it, it, it could leave the door open for, Hannibal could have done that and he's gonna join her at the table and he's the one who did that to her. Right. And her, her fears are, you know. Is that a flash forward yeah. or something? Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, I don't, I, I'm sure like Fuller will talk about it a little bit, but I don't think he's going to let the entire cat out of the bag. No, out. no. But again, even that being said, I just, I still felt really satisfied yep. by the story they got to tell with these three seasons. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Now tell us what you thought of the Hannibal season finale, series finale potentially, in the comments. And uh, for not much more Hannibal, mm. maybe some Hannibal. Uh, Stay tuned to IGN.com.